Mm-mm. All them Hindu gods. And I'm saying this as an Indian, right? As a Bengali, right? That, you know, we gotta be specific, cause you know, I ain't no Indian. No, Bengalis are special, man. We fierce. You got a tiger named after us, goddammit. Ain't no Indian tiger, it's a Bengali, Bengal tiger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause we fought off the Indian. We fought off the, the, the everybody. We fought off the Greeks. We sent Alexander the Great back home. The Bengali people. They used to call us the Gangaridae, right? The, 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 we was like the warriors on the east coast of India because when the devil wept, went in India, he went from West India and was pushing motherfuckers, pushing motherfuckers. We was the last stronghold in India because we in the top eastern corner. So that's, we wasn't going, we wasn't going to China. We wasn't going to be Chinese. We like, fuck it, we here. And so like, once you get past us, you start seeing people that's like looking more East Asian, right? Um, but... You're saying that 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 the, the all right. So the Hindu fought. teachers that came before Farah, like uh, um, let me think. There was a uh, I want to say Vivekananda. I want to say uh, who else came? There was a few, right? Uh, the names not coming to head, right, coming to my mind right now. But the Indian yogis that came to America did what? They all married white women. Okay. Not, the, not only did he marry white women, that was okay, not really okay, it was debated. When the, um, One of the people that did it had the right back home, the shit got published, it was a yogi having to be like, yo, my people are really mad at me about this, but she's the one that's taking care of my babies and my business. What they didn't want to admit is that in order to have business running here, you need a white woman in America in the 1920s and, so, and, and before that especially. So... When Farad came out, he had seen that the Indian teachers that preceded him had not taught nothing about the devil. Not one word about the devil. In fact, they were teaching that the devils could be God too. Hmm. All of them taught that the devils could be God. That's why when you see Farad talking about it, he's like, yo man, the Hindus would teach that anything can become a God. The Hindus is worse than the Christians. That's what he meant. And he meant, and with the one we named, we're going to talk about him in a second, but not too much in depth. I like him. He all right. But he's very egotistical and arrogant, especially as it comes to describing the condition of black man in America. What was his name? Sadhguru. Sadhguru. Okay. Sadhguru. Hell, I, you know, like, like I like him, but he don't know how much of an ego he's grown. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to kill what I see growing in him. Because he's gotten to the point now where the people following him, you know, he could be that Yakub syndrome, become a big head of scientist. Mm. You know? I like the system of checks and balances I have. Only I need to know who and what they are, but like... It's a way that I keep myself level. He got to the point where not only do he uh, uh, speak like he has the power to do things to people and he professed that publicly. You should never even announce that if you can, right? The second thing is he's very condescending about people in America and black people in America especially and hip-hop culture and things like that. There's a reason for that is because he don't have the full understanding of those issues because all the Indian motherfuckers damn near refused to really study that science in depth. Remember, Farad's daddy came from, he wasn't, he wasn't part of the other, uh, the Arabs and the other Sufis at the time that was, that might have been in that divine council. He was one of the black, like the knowledge seed gods. He might have came from Sudan or something. You know what I mean? He might have came from somewhere like that. Like, look, man, I'm, I'm from Shabazz tribe. Like, I, I know that we ain't going, nothing's going to happen until this, pe- this nation wake up. And all the motherfucking Indians in the cypher are like, oh, what, what do you mean? You know what I mean? Like, like that's, the, that's the problem, homie. That's why the Ottoman Empire fell and a lot of shit, man. If Mega did this.